Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with another quick video for you guys today. Today I wanna to talk about tools, and more specifically, nut drivers. Three different styles. So we, you can see right here, we actually have three different styles of nut driver. This is a good old fashioned style with a, with a handle on it. These are made by STRC, and they're both five and a half and seven millimeters. You can buy these individually for about 12 or 13 bucks a piece, or you can buy them as a set, which you see I have right here. Now these are the shorty or the stubby style and these are these two are made by Team Associated. These are also a five and a half and a seven. And this last one is actually made by TLR and this is a five mil. And to be honest with you, the TLR one might be the most valuable one out there, specifically because it tends to work on a lot of the different companies, the nut that holds the piston on the shock shaft. You can see that we, right here we have an x-ray car. So something like this STRC five and a half works perfect. It works perfect on the front and it works perfect on the back. But when you get over to something like this associated car, obviously this five millimeter just isn't gonna cut it. That's when you need something that's a little bit more stubby and a little bit shorter. And even with the body on, it still seems to be in the way. So let's pop the body off. And then you can see with the body off, it fits perfectly. So nut drivers are really nice. I can't tell you how many times I see guys either using one and they've kind of got a longer one and it's at the wrong angle and then the nuts get all rounded off. But if you're going to use something like a high-end anodized aluminum nut, you really want to have the proper tool because you don't want to mar up the surfaces or anything like that. I've had a bunch of different brands. I've had Dynamite. I've got Associated. I'm trying to think of what other ones I have. I actually have the bits that go in the drills and stuff like that. And ultimately, if you only had to have one set... It would probably, for me, be the inexpensive associated versions, specifically because while they don't have a tremendous amount of reach, you can always get at you know the nuts that are in really tight spots. If you have a car that doesn't have the nut on the back, then on the back of the front tower, then I think the STRC tools are really the way to go. I just really like them. They're super nice. They're light, and uh, they feel really good in your hand. This TLR, if you're a TLR driver, it's a huge mistake not to actually have this TLR five millimeter shorty wrench, just because it covers so much. It, you actually adjust a slipper with it. You can put nuts on the shock shaft on other vehicles with it. And it's just a super valuable handy tool. So anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video. These are a couple of brands. Of course, if you want to spend money and get the other, you know, full on, you know, the full on long, you know, style nut driver from whatever your tool company of choice is, I would say do it. But if you only had to have just two for most of the today's platforms, I would say probably my pick would be the Associated. And I think they're pretty cheap too. I don't remember what I paid for these things, to be honest with you. I bought them so long ago, but they just happen to be really handy. So, oh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you could either like, comment, or even better, subscribe. I post a lot of stuff on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. So if you want to catch up with me, I'll post this stuff up for you. And you can come on over, add me as a friend, follow me on Instagram, and you'll be able to see things that just don't make it to YouTube. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.